Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Avani. Happy New Year from Lake Tahoe. And I'm just out here. I drove here on beautifully empty highways. Everybody's still sleeping, I'm assuming. Not everybody went to bed at 10 p.m. like I did. <laughs> Trust me, my days of starting part of my New Year's celebration on New Year's Eve and ending it around January 3rd are over. <laughs> What you see here is just an empty shell of that one-time great party empire I used to have. <laughs> but now, I'm just here to try to get down there, wish you all a happy new year, and hopefully get a nice rainbow for the freezer. I got one meal left of that big Lake Eagle Lake rainbow I got. I got one left. I got like five meals off that thing. But that party is over. It's over. And I'm counting on Lake Tahoe to deliver me some more bounty. So I came here to Logan Shoals. It's an easy place to fish. I wasn't sure what the traffic is going to be like later because I'm sure there's a zillion people up here staying in every hotel and Airbnb available. So I figure if it's going to be crazy traffic going home later today, this is a pretty easy place to get in and out of. If I would go to Emerald Bay, it's a nightmare. If you go to Emerald Bay when there's a lot of traffic up here and you get caught behind that person that's driving 25 miles an hour where it's 55, it's enough to make your head literally want to explode. At least some steam might come out of it. Because when I'm sitting there and they're saying, I'm not a fast driver, but I need to go faster than 25 or 30 miles an hour in a 55. So I avoided that to make sure that didn't happen to me today. So let's hike down there. It's pretty easy to get down there. I'm going to go find a place to fish, post up. I'm spending the day. I got a couple of bologna and cheese sandwiches. I got my sleeping pad inside me here. I'm not leaving until it starts to get dark if I don't have anything. Or unless I decide I want to leave earlier. So let's go. I want to get down here today before it snows this week. It's going to snow a couple of days. And although there's not a lot of snow everywhere, there is snow on the side of the road by the pass. So my cooler is really light. I make a thin block of ice for this time of year when I think there could be some snow available. It looks like the water's gone down a little bit. It looks like you could almost fish right here. I could definitely fish out there. But when I say a little bit, I mean a couple feet. So <laughs> let's not get crazy. Looks like someone was fishing here. I can see their green power bait. So the first thing I need to do is I need to test these rocks. Cause I gotta see if I'm dealing with ice. So let's do that first. Cause I wanna make sure I'm not jumping on stuff where I'm gonna jump on it when I get a fish if I get a fish, and then I'm just gonna fall and snap my sticks. So I test all these rocks out. I jump on them, I move around, because I might step on any one of these in a, in a time of panic. I can see everything down there is covered with a sheen of ice, so I won't be going down there. But as I said, the water's a little bit more shallow. Usually those rocks are underwater since the lake level rose and they're not now. So I'll probably have to bring a fish over here or over here if I don't want to go out on that slippery stuff. Maybe that'll melt later today. My night crawlers suck today. All I have are these little night crawlers I had in my fridge because all the ones at Walmart were dead when I went grocery shopping yesterday. And I'm down to, this is so small, I got a size 12 bait holder hook for this thing. But, you know, rather than drive around town looking for night crawlers, I figure I'll just go the lazy route and go with the smaller hook and use what I got. So I'm all set. I got this chasm I gotta watch out when I jump over it. 
I got my power bed out there. I got my crappy small night crawlers that barely inflate <laughs> on this rod. So all we can do now is wait. Where are you? He's there. He's still there. He's nibbling. Take it. Take it. Take it! There we go. Immediately I'm worried about the size 12 hook. Immediately! It's not that big, but... Big enough to eat. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! You sucker! Alright, there he is. I'm going in. Oh. Nice! This right here is perfect for dinner tonight. Ain't breaking any Lake Tahoe records. In fact, this is probably food for a lot of what's swimming around in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> but I'll take it. This is a perfect size, one good fat meal. And I was, I was saying, I'm making the thin blocks of ice. Because usually when I'm camping overnight, I'll make the big fat ones that take day and a half to make, but they take two days to melt. So, so I'll just put this on here. If I leave the fish outside right now, it's going to freeze. I don't want it freezing yet because I'm eating this one fresh. I'm keeping the side of freezer so I break that up. Dump it in here. And that's all I really need until I get some... Uh, snow to really pack it on. If this fish was a lot bigger, this might not be enough ice, but for this fish it's perfect. And this fish is perfect for dinner. So it's perfect all the way around. And those of you that are kind of new to fishing, that's how small the size 12 hooks I'm using for the night crawlers are. I saw some preliminary, I saw some preliminary fighting going on. My power bait. There he is. That ain't preliminary! Let's see what we got here. It's like the other one. He's way over there though. Way over there is no good. Alright. I'm gonna have to make some maneuvers. Get my neck. Leaping! Oh. There we go. He ain't that big, but he's good for if, if I'm gonna have a string or a fish, this is a good size. Look at my hand wet. This fish is about the same size as the other one. I just barely had him hooked on that little treble hook. So I'm going to go ahead and put this fish back. Let him get bigger. That'll be for next year. He's thrashing around. He's ready to go. I got that one for dinner. Let's go for something big for the freezer. There he goes. Billy <laughs> He shot into the rocks. I'm gonna try to get him out of those rocks. Whoa, it's really icy down here. Turn around. Turn around, dude. Turn around. There he goes. He just, once he figured out where he needed to go, he was gone. Ready to wrap it up. So I got my chest cam on. I just missed a hit on my power bait. I mean, I just hit a hit on my night crawler, but I got something running with my power bait now. And we'll just have to see what kind of fish this is. Oh yeah. He's out there. I was regretting letting that one go, but now I got a little one that's a little bit better. I was getting ready to get lazy on you and quit. Oh, he's trying to get in the rocks. 
He's trying to get in those boulders. He's trying to get in the boulders. I don't want that. There he is. All right, that ice is gone so I can get down low now. I think the ice is gone. I've been sleeping, so it's hard to monitor these things when you're, when you're asleep. All right, he's going into the rocks. I gotta get down here. I'm like sitting here messing around. It's moments of indecision like this is when it costs me a lot of fish, where I don't know what I want to do. What I want to do is get this fish in the net. Nice trout. That hook is right here. Look at that. It is right there. So, sit in the water, recoup. That little 18 hook comes right out. Barely had him hooked. That fish is an even 16 inches. There he goes, look at him. Look at him, he's angry. There he is, look at him. He's angry. He's ready to go. He's still a little tired. Plus I had him out of the water a little bit, so I'm gonna give him as much time as he needs. He's thrashing, he's thrashing. I just, I got one to eat and I'm gonna be fishing, uh, doing some bait fishing and keeping fish later this week for uh, Wilderness with Imani Patreon. So, this guy is gonna get a pardon. <laughs> there he goes. Before I wrap it up, I'll show you what I call luxurious accommodations. <laughs> my blow up pad, and then I got my stuff sack full of layers as a pillow and then my camera was right up above me with a tripod so if I got a bite all I had to do is get up hit record and then go leaping around down there and here's the rainbow I kept I let the two go that last one let go was bigger than this one so this guy's right around 15 inches long and that pink meat is going to be some fine dining tonight. And I'm not even messing around. I'm just going to hack that up and eat that. Oh, I'm eating that whole thing in one shot. So that was a great way to spend New Year's Day. You know, I'm not hungover. I'm pretty well rested. I got extra sleep on that pad. I'm feeling nice. And I need that nice fish for dinner. I mean, all three of those fish are really good size for eating. 15, 16 inches. But... I'm probably going to be fishing for Wilderness of Money Patreon, bait fishing this week, so I'll get fish then most likely. And I don't need to stack my freezer full of fish. I'd rather get fresher fish. <laughs> but this was great, and I really just wanted to come out and wish all of my Patreon and YouTube subscribers a happy new year. 2024 is upon us. <laughs> Ready or not, here it comes, good or bad, it's, it's going to be here, so... I'm hoping to do a lot of fishing. I'm looking forward to making more content for you guys, and uh, the, that's the plan. You never know. Sometimes plans blow up. But that's the plan, making more content in 2024. So thank you for joining me on Wilderness with the Monday Day out here in beautiful Lake Tahoe. Happy New Year to all of you.